Hello, welcome to Took Scrap Table. Welcome back to my longtime subscriber and welcome to my new one. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm getting close to 2000. <laughs> Maybe if I can get that by the end of the year, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, I hope everyone is doing well and uh, oh, I'm still praying for everyone in california to be safe and susan my heart is out to you and uh, yeah um hope you stay safe and situation is getting calmer uh today i want to come back and and share uh how i use the in love arts dye that i did um do the haul and some lace sorry I said I'm coming back uh, the next day but <laughs> what happened was I I dyed these with the ink from cartridge um, so I, I dyed it and I dyed it and I left it overnight and then the storm came and uh, so I, I didn't bring it in so I have to redo and uh, yeah, just to let you know that it um, take the dye nicely, uh, like this, like this. You know what you can use them for? You can tie them, uh, tie the um, use as a closure to tie your uh, journal. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, why can't I talk today? And this is yellow. That's nice. And. And this is the coffee. This is coffee. Tea might be nicer because it, this is uh, too dark. But um, what you can do, you can run through the water again, and uh, it might clean off the the spot that, unless you like a grungy look. And here's some green. It takes the dye nicely. It's quite nice. So soft color and. Um, I just post on Instagram how I dyed this. So I basically I just use the empty cartridge um, and then just crack open a little bit and then just dip it in a little bit water, warm water and uh, a little bit because it's quite strong the, the ink in the cartridge in the container and, and uh, anyway um, that's how I dyed this and it take the color so well and today we're gonna do this um, just a floating pocket or just using the dye I cut the uh, what do you call it? paint ship um, that I grabbed from Home Depot because of the backing is very uh, laminate like a th thin laminate so it cut have hard time to go through some spot but I cut cardstock it went smoothly so but this one I I, I thought I tried a paint chip that I pick up and uh, yeah and then I backed it with vellum uh, because I want to make a pocket it's nice really nice pocket isn't it and uh, would we'll, we'll make these so um, this is book page and use your scrap to do this and then last time when I do the haul from uh, I love arts um, so here's the the store and I will leave the link below as well but um, so and I get these lace dye last time so I used to and then I cut them a bunch of them off and uh, we will use uh, them some of them today too and uh, so and this is from inspired by list the paper project this channel has so many cool idea if you haven't follow her please do she have like a quick project to share all the time and uh, yeah and this uh, this is from her channel as well so it's just simple get the remnant of this and that and make into a dangle nice dangle and um, so this is like a three pocket um, 
in the front this is the uh, vellum and in here the second pocket here and then third pocket here and if you glue this um, on the book page like this so you you will have a the fourth pocket here right and then these will hang out from your book nicely and if you uh, wanted to make a flip you can make um, another pocket here which I didn't um, so maybe this one we would do a flip a flip one so so you would flip on this side and then have another pocket here right it just so I just think it's so cute um, and try to incorporate the, the lace dye and all that that I had from last time okay let's uh, let's do one of these together what you will need you will need the book page um, two book page which I already cut off um, I already done that and then cut it off just to save time so this is the full book page and then half so you will need one and a half so one just very simple this is like nothing new or you know um, I just want to find um, make it like um, nice and get to use some of these how I use them so sorry kind of mess so we will do this pocket first the inside pocket um, I should go with uh, purple that's nice you don't have to go all the way down because you don't see them right and you don't want to get them too thick I keep losing it I have to order this from Aliexpress and um, it's so surprised that it's the real bone um, and it was super cheap because I got a really expensive one from Amazon and I lost it <laughs> and I'm like I can't afford to lose another one and please Excuse me, me, because it's like it's glue all over. There, we got this one in like that. So, and maybe we could use um, these to decorate. I the reason I I want this side because I want it to fit these exactly the same length of this paper lace that I cut out and this one maybe we could do these from both okay so this one we want the full length so we i will glue on this book rather than the paper Sorry, when I craft, I I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm sorry if I went quiet on you. Hmm. Is that the? Um, I have to use the this height 
there. Okay, that's the right length. And now we need one for up here. is doing well. I know I already asked but I uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's pretty warm today. We, are, we will plan to go to a hike on a small trail around here but I didn't realize you have to book. You have to book the time to go into the park so we are going to tomorrow. We book for 10.30 tomorrow. We'll take the pub for a real life in the park. <laughs> He's going to be crazy. So there's your three pockets. Simple. Very super super simple. And just add these up here. I think I might add these here because it pop up better and then have this one up here. I like these down here because you can see you can see them both side both ends. my mind. to be center because I'm gonna go to the sewing machine on the side on the edge there and then one here so I mean you can use any die I guess that you have and uh, to adapt just doesn't have to be these or you don't have to use dye at all you can use real lace and uh, just use vellum if you don't have the dye like this or similar so we'll do one for the back do I have any left? Yeah, I have some left. And these could be pockets. eyeball on everything, right? And I think it's four and three quarter. I think that's my width. Yep, perfect. And I need a thumbnail. A thumb hole, not thumbnail. <laughs> Thumb hole. <laughs> it 
And you know what? I have another teeny tiny one here that could be what do you think? Could be another tag. I just don't wanna hide this. I wonder if I mean that would work too because I lose a lot, right? So maybe one up here so I don't lose much. I think Maybe just up, up here. Another pocket. Let's see, we got another pocket here, and we don't have to go down, down here, right? There's no rule, so we can move it up. So we have more. I could have go down like this, but yeah, enough fooling. So I'm gonna put it, this pocket floating a little bit up here. So. There we go, we got that one. And now we need I mean, you can go all the way down, but then you build up the, the layer too thick, and then you don't want it way too thick for your book page, right? Or, I mean, if you make a flip, that's perfect, but if you glue it right on the page like this, it might be too heavy for your, your page. We need a, some sort of fabric here so we can use for the flip. Let's see what I have here. That's perfect. I have this piece of muslin. That's perfect for this. Okay, I'm gonna sew this and this, okay, and then the pocket and then put the eyelet here and pocket it's complete. How easy that is. All done sewing and grab some eyelet. I have blue eyelet and so when you sew, when you want to make a flip, you only sew on one because you want to glue that this one to your book 
so it's like that okay let's see the pocket here pocket here and pocket here and pocket here and pocket here so we have lots of pockets now we need to add some eyelid so I go with the small small puncher one and let's change I don't like this small one, I like the big one, but I don't want to pull the big one out for these. Okay, I might need to use... Okay. Well, what do you think? I really like it. I mean, you can go like add glitter to the center of these and you know, you can add some pearls and decorate to be like a more like a shabby chic but these would be like really perfect for like a baby shower uh, journal and stuff like that right it's or you can make um, more uh, botanical theme that as well but this would be a really good um, color for my um, next project that I'm doing after uh, after Mrs. Cox project done I'm going to start doing my Beatrix Potter just a sneak peek so this the it's really cute so give it a try so simple and I know that a lot of people doing this pocket already but um, I just thought you know this is my take and with this die my uh, my subject is this so and then you can go all the way to you know make it fancy and fun and we can put this in the back pull down a few of these because it's a, a short pocket see how how nice that is right like I just love it I love how everything work out and I love how the lace turn out you know this will be included in the Beatrix Potter um, project for these okay everyone I hope um, you go and um, tackle your stash you know you have you don't have to do use all the paper you could like um, new paper you can use all your scraps like you know even just the book page nobody know that it's like a book page behind here so it's a good way to use up your stash right um okay have 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 a wonderful weekend and thank you all for spending time with me today and hope to see you soon bye